Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Thank you, General, for your warm welcome. Thank you for inviting me here to West Point. I, I now know why you're so happy I'm here. <laughs> All classes were canceled. <laughs> I, uh, I had the honor of sitting next to the general and Judy during the game over the weekend. I am disappointed I could not bring the commander-in-chief's trophy with me. However, you just get the commander-in-chief. <laughs> this is my last visit to a military academy as president, so I thought I would exercise a certain prerogative of office one last time. I hereby absolve all cadets who are on restriction for minor conduct offenses. As always, I always, I leave it to General Hagan back to determine what minor means. <laughs> there are many honors that come with the presidency, but none higher than serving as commander in chief and the greatest armed forces on earth. Every one of you is a volunteer. You came to this academy in a time of war, knowing all the risks that come with military service. I want to thank you for making the noble and selfless decision to serve our country. And I will always be grateful to the men and women who wear the uniform of the United States military. As West Point cadets, you're a part of a generation that has witnessed extraordinary change in the world. Two decades ago, the Cold War was nearing its end and the Soviet Union was about to collapse. You were just beginning your lives. About the same time, another threat was quietly gathering. In hidden corners of the world, violent religious extremists were plotting ways to advance their radical aims and their grim ideology. We have given Special Operations Command the lead role in the global war against the terrorists. In addition to these upgrades in our counterterrorism capabilities, we have placed a new focus on counterinsurgency. The Army has published a new counterinsurgency manual written by a distinguished graduate of this academy, General David Petraeus. Here at West Point, you've created a new combating terrorism center that allows you to gain insights from the battles of today and apply them as you lead our military into the future. We must stay on the offensive. We must be determined and we must be relentless to do our duty to protect the American people from harm. We must... I have great confidence in the future because I have confidence in you all. Ultimately, the security of our nation depends on the courage of those who wear the uniform. I see that courage in all of you. I thank you for your patriotism. I thank you for your devotion to duty. May God bless you in all your endeavors. May God bless your families. And may God continue to bless the United States of America. Davis, California. 
Uh, it was a great honor to have the president come and speak to us today. That speech was great. Our class, when I graduated in 2011, is going to be stepping into an army that's been educated and more dynamic than it's ever had to be. And I think they've recognized that, they've educated people, and they've trained towards that more than we ever have in the past. And I, I have full confidence that because of that outlook, because of the time that has passed, that we'll be in a good position.